Hey guys, DC here, and this is my first gameplay of Before Your Eyes for Netflix games. Alright, so Skybound is one of the developers it looks like here. Goodbye World Games as well. Before Your Eyes uses eye detection as its primary mode of interaction. Alright, so yeah, you do need to have your camera enabled it looks like here. And what I'll probably do is I'll set this up and I am on camera, so I may go back and just, um, you know, probably take that out, edit it out. I'm not really ready for camera, but I need to kind of set up the camera and do this calibration. I'm not wearing glasses. Okay, make sure I don't have any weird lighting in my room. So yeah, I'm just adjusting my iPad right now. Blink calibration. All right, you know, they give you a little progress bar. Okay, so, uh, just adjusting my iPad a little bit here. And again, I'm blinking, but I'll probably be taking this out in post. So you'll probably see like a little box here, a little blank box. Okay, so I'm doing my blank test now. Okay, it's pretty responsive. Okay, yeah, because the little eyes below blink whenever I blink. So it was perfect, actually. It caught all my blinks. Alright, so yeah, I want to play with eye detection with. We'll see how this goes. This game is about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works? Okay, yeah, when I'm blinking, the words kind of come down as well. Pretty cool. Drag screen to look around. Try blinking on the white symbol over over symbols to interact with them. Okay, I have to find the white symbol here. Again, I'm on the uh, iPad Pro, third generation. Alright, I found my little symbol, I think. Try blinking, alright, that worked. All right. All right, get some more blinking here. When you see a metronome and blink, you'll jump forward. Keep blinking. All right, I'm just blinking here. Stranger. Okay. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name. You get like this little no mouth to speak with or cat or something here. To shake with or nose to look down cat with. wolf looking guy. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is even though you're no longer in your body, nice audio. your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, and good little audio vo uh, voiceover. I have you to blink blinking, on his hand. Don't you? <laughs> that okay, I can always recalibrate my eye detection if it's not working. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there? 
lost in the waves. I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? Mm, a better word than that. Okay, is, what is that? Uh, dictionary or a. A premonition. Synonyms and antonyms, dictionary. Pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? Big, scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm gonna present your case, tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stern. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin and you get yourself a spot in her magnet. Okay, see, now his mouth was moving before. If she ain't, it's not really moving now. Well, I eat seagull for dinner again and uh, you... It's one little glitch well, thing, yeah. <laughs> well, that's just kinda because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. No, shut up, trash bird. <laughs> uh, the birds are making some noise here. Okay, now his mouth is opening up again now. Unsatisfactory clock watchers. What is that, a thesaurus? I'm trying to think. That has the antonyms and... Oh wow, he's going crazy now. I guess he's kind of like a dog, werewolf type thing. Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> so sure. Maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin it. So yeah, this game seems to be very uh, story driven. And right that's there, where you're kind of sticking on this. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there, but understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, Netflix Games has time. been second, definitely adding some really fine. unique gaming. That's just how they say that. All right, just have your regular sort of. He's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna set send up you back. much different. Now, don't be afraid. And don't try to fight it. The thing to remember about blinking. Okay, and I like this concept of the blinking and the me metronome. Moving forward through time and everything like that it seems cool. And just try to Before enjoy your eyes. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Changing little beach scene now. I don't know if I'm like a boy, girl. Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? How old I am right now. You see that big spiky plant over there? Right over there. If I'm in a relationship with her or. She my mom. She my daughter. That's called Nagabe. Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree. Try to control my blinking here so I can kind of we'll have to keep our eyes on that listen one. to the scene. Do 
some research on the scene. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. And where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it? Found the paper or page. Okay, go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, one year old birthday. We have to make it to okay. the every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Baby. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? <laughs> Give it time. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? Just listen to the convo. I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Okay, so it gives us some more context there. So yeah, I can blink on the little eye thing before I blink for the metronome, which launches me like further into the future. Look at his little face. What do you think he's thinking about? I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. So, do you think he's going to be smart? I don't see why not. I mean... No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Okay, I got a little canvas here. Okay, I can connect the dots. Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Okay, it's a toy book. It really means a lot. A little bit of a mess here. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. All right, I want to throw. Hey, we do okay, not. Okay, get reprimanded for that. Scrapbook. This is really like a, a storytelling book. I guess as we kind of blink, we get different um, events. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. And can kind of take us down different pathways. Very Netflix, build your own story type uh, shows and things of that nature. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Beethoven. Okay, high school choir. Looking at some of the other scraps. I think he hoped to make it further than. Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something Sippy cup. really special? I just don't want him to get attached. There's a little package here. Richard. What? Oh, look at that. Thing I've ever seen. Yeah, little kitten. What's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean. I'm pretty much one eye. Allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take him. But while he's here, <laughs> kind of rough. Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie fits him, doesn't it? <laughs> now play the C major chord. He's kind of creepy with the one eye. Remember? go 
Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? Okay, so pianos are a big sort of you remember how to play that one? Influence in this game. Very good. Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> like me and your little friend on your piano there. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met I'm cheaper than hiring movers, trust me. The featured God, I can somehow brim. Okay, then we have a course guide there. What classes do we have here? Looks like... Looks like we have classes anthropology and history. I took anthro in college undergrad as well. Great stuff. Egypt Airlines. God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Okay, looks like we're moving up to the big boy piano here, let's see. I got my musical note. Oh, here we go. Wait, is Young that Mozart in the building. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? This game looks good, sounds good, but the sound quality in this game is perfect. I mean, they nailed it with that. The audio is. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. It can't be any better. You know, definitely the game looks okay. We're definitely I mean, they exceed in the sound, voiceover, all that is perfect in this game. I know someone who might be up to the task. All right, so we got the cat here again. Oh God, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Alright, little picture of the cat there. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk. Okay, so the cat is growing up. The cat does look bigger now. What happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. Update drawing of the cat. So here, very artsy. We got pianist here. Flying him out in February, remember? You know, an artist, a surprise that I could actually afford visual artist. Why not? You're a working woman. Now. Painter. So this game really kind of goes into visual arts. Yeah. Please let music. No. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. This is called a metronome. Okay, now we have an actual we sort of so we don't get lost in metronome the here. I want you to start using it before Grandpa As opposed to, to the little one that we have. You know, my father once like built into the game. When I was Welcome home, Dad. The only way to fight against time Grandpa. is to a work of genius, which right. might live on after you're gone. Or is it not Grandpa? So I asked him. What about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. He said, yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, 
All right, so um, this game is definitely a story telling game here. Just wanted to give you guys the first few minutes of it. Can you believe that? Let me know what you think. I wonder if you uh, recognize me. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, first gameplay. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play. Thank you.